What's going on smitties and people of the world? It is Patrick here and welcome to my ultimate guide to origins. In this video, we're going to be covering a whole bunch of stuff. We're going to be doing a walkthrough where we look at perks, wall weapons, um, you know, just routes, how the map flows and all that sort of stuff. Then we're going to be looking at the buildables. Um, just a quick note about the buildables though, we are going to be doing nothing to do with the staffs. That's going to be in a separate video because it takes so long. Um, so none of the none of the tunnels or anything like that and no staff parts. Uh, but apart from that guys, if you're excited, please drop a like and let's get into this video. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to be doing is just giving a, a walkthrough of the whole map. Now we start off um, in the laboratory, that's the spawn room. There is a random perk machine here, a uh, mystery box location. The two guns on the wall are the ballista and the M14 for 500 points. We have the perk machine. Also, there are two shovels here um, and those are used for digging up things, which can be very, very useful. Um, and there are two doors that you can go. Both are for 500 points and both generally take you to the same area. Uh, you just have different things on the way. So as you see, we go out here into the trenches area. Um, and this is just kind of a big loop here. You know, you may get a little confused at first, but it just it just loops back to the same spot. Um, there's also a Remington on the wall back there for, nah, it doesn't even matter. Remington's not worth your time right now. Um, so then once we get through there, we get to the tank station. There's also a generator there, you see. Um, and a random perk machine. Now here, there is a mystery box location in this room and a MP40 on the wall for I believe 1300 points. I do recommend getting that gun. Um, very, very helpful gun. That's just gonna get you lots of points and can also kill the zombies quite well. Um, so leaving here, there is also uh, some, some parts here, but I'm not gonna get into parts. That'll be later uh, on towards the video where I go into detail with that. Now we come out here, uh, back in the trenches, trenches, and we can go up to no man's land. There's a little room that we'll be, we'll go through here. There's a door there, um, and in here there's just a workbench and an audio log. But this is as far as we're going to go because we're going to go back to the spawn room and see uh, what we'll get if we go through the other door. So moving back, you see we're back in the spawn room, and instead of taking that door, we can now take this door right here. Uh, but it's it's 500 points as well. Again, there's more dig sites that you can get. Um, there actually is a staff piece in here, but I, like I said, I'll get into that later. B23R on the wall for 750 points, good stuff. Uh, but really, there's not a whole lot going on in this general area um, until we get to this next door. Oh, there is uh, there is grenades, but I mean, you're probably not gonna need, need to buy those. Uh, there is uh, this area here, which has some good stuff. It has a generator, it has a random perk machine, and it also has sleight of hand, which is very, very helpful. You see sleight of hands over there. And that's pretty much it for this area. Now there is a gun on the wall, the AK-74U um, for 1200 points, I wanna say. Yep, 1200 points. Um, and that's really this area. Now we're gonna go through a door in a sec and that's gonna take us back to uh, where we just were, where we went through the other route. Um, and so basically, yeah, just understand that this is a total, total loop route that takes you to no man's land. And this is basically going to be the bulk of the map where most stuff is happening, where most parts are, where like pretty much all the staff parts are. There is a 5.7 on the wall up there, but um, just don't waste your time on it. Um, so once we get up into no man's land, you know, there's just tons of mud, tons of routes which you can take that all really lead back to one another, robots which can step. Um, to look for the robots, like I'm in one right here as you see, they're just big square areas that there's nothing in. You know, the robots will never step on like a generator or anything important. They just step in random, you know, blank empty areas. And it's it's very patterny. Um, in this area though, you see we have the claymores, we have uh, stamina up and another mystery box location. So kind of a lot of stuff happening there. There's another stop, uh, spot where the robot steps. And we also have a chest, which is kind of uh, not what we're gonna get into right now. <laughs> Um, so you see back, we're just looping around again. And like, this is, this is all it is, is just loops and loops and loops within loops. And it's just craziness. we got another MP40 on the wall. Great buy, by the way. Um, and up here is the excavation site. Now this is a very happening place. We have the pack a punch there. Uh, it's just right there as I'm pointing. You have to turn all six generators on if you want to pack a punch. It's 5,000 as usual. Um, and then, you know, I'm just showing you another loop. It just loops back to the excavation site. You know, it's just like that. Um, also more uh, staff stuff involved with the excavation site, but like I said, that's for another time. Uh, moving on to the other side of No Man's Land, you see we have uh, this this sort of, it looks like the robot would step here, but he doesn't. And then here we have a mystery box location, jug, and more generator stuff. Um, now moving back into this area, you're gonna see I point down to this tunnel here, and all these tunnels are also involved with the um, 
sorry, the staffs. And like I said, there's just so much to talk about the staffs. I'm gonna have to make a separate video for it, which you guys can probably check out um, in the link description once I have that out. Um, but that's pretty much it for the two sides of No Man's Land. But hey, guess what? There is a back portion to No Man's Land as well. And again, it's just another route that you gotta learn, you gotta take. So back here, um, it also leads to the excavation site, um, just another route that you can get up there. Um, and you see, that, again, you can reach this area from the other side that we were just back over the stamina up side. Um, really, you know, it's just, like I said, it's just a big loop. So there's going to be a rock block on your way there. You're going to come to another area where the robot can step. So watch out. You have a chest there. And we are going to come down here, which has the tank. Now, the tank you can ride for 500 points. You got to get on it from the other side. Um, we also have some grenades there for I don't know how much, 250 or something like that. We've got a buildables table, which I'm probably recommending building the shield there. Uh, we'll get into that a little bit later. And then we also have the B23R for 750 points, which isn't a bad buy. Um, now, moving from here, we're going to go to the top, or I guess the actual part of the church. This is kind of like the lower area. Um, there's going to be another thing blocking your way there. And up here, we actually have a uh, staff piece, but you can't get it from here. You have to use the tank to get at that. Um, anyways, moving on, we also have the STG on the wall, which is a really cool gun from World at War. Um, there is a mystery box location just chilling right there. And we will come out to the back part of the church, which again, another uh, another robot foot. Watch out for that. Um, back here, there's not a whole lot. There's Remington on the wall. We got, um, you see, we have another generator, uh, which is the sixth and final one that you have to turn on. And that's pretty much it for this area. Now, I'm going to just go down into uh, another tunnel, which you can see they're all around the map. I don't, I'm not including them all. Um, and like I said, I will get into that later. But uh, that's just what they look like. And really, guys, that is uh, the walkthrough. So now I'm going to move on to buildables. Now, like I said before, this is not going to include the staff. That will be in a separate video. Um, link in the description. Now, the first thing we're going to show is the gramophone. The first piece you're going to be looking for is this little disc right there. You see that um, just looks like all the other ones for the staffs, but it's totally black. Um, now, the next piece is down below pack a punch. And what the gramophone does is basically it allows you to get into some secret areas. Now, you're going to see me down here. I grab it and I go um, into the secret area after I put it on a table and make it play. Um, and that's basically what it does. You know, you, you put it on a table and it plays and it'll open up portals for you and stuff like that, um, which allow you to build the staffs. Now, what this area opens up is actually the spot where you physically build the staff. Um, but there are also these, you know, all those tunnels that I, that I was talking about earlier. Um, where you can put it down and it will take you to Agartha um, to get your um, gems to build uh, the individual staffs. And you'll just see a little portal here um, in a second is what they look like. You just go through that and you get your gems. The next buildable that we're going to look at is the zombie shield, which has three pieces and they can spawn in different areas. Now, the first one is by Generator 2. Um, you just got to go up these stairs. Now, watch out for the giant robot. Um, and it's just going to be right there. Now, the other spot that it can spawn is a little trickier. Um, it's by the second generator. You keep moving on from there and you will come to a dead end. Um, I'm just going to point there. It's just right back at the very end of there um, and you will get it. Now, the second piece is over by the third generator in this area. Um, and where it spawns is you're going to see I accidentally, actually, I accidentally come across it. Um, and you see it's just right there. It kind of almost looks like a giant zipper, but it's, it's like a blast shield or something. Um, and then the last piece that we have is over at No Man's Land. Now it can either spawn jug side or it can spawn towards the back of stamina upside in a little puddle. Those are the three pieces and you can craft them at any work table, just like in Mob of the Dead. All right, moving on to the Maxis Quadrant. Guys, I swear to God in prayer, I've asked for so many Repel the monsters! Let's move on. All right, I'm also going to spend a quick sec on how to turn on the six generators. And when you get them all on, it will turn on Pack-a-Punch. Um, so basically, when you go up to it, you just give your 200 points and 
For it to power up, you have to be right beside it. Now in this video, you're gonna see exactly what not to do. You don't wanna run around and keep getting out of the, the power up zone. You just wanna stay as close as you can beside it. Yeah. Don't even try to move, guys. There's a break. I it's completed the operation. It's a robot, robot attacked. Nine. Maxis must wait. They will be here again soon. I must prepare the defenses. Start up the conversion generators. And that is what you need to do. And the last thing that I'm going to show you guys today are the soul chests or the challenge chests. So in the spawning room, there is a little box that has uh, everyone's name on it and three little uh, metal things and one large one. And what these are are basically challenges that you can do within the game. Mini challenges that you get rewarded when you do. So there are three little ones and those three are get 150 normal zombies headshots and what that means are just the normal zombies not the uh, diesel punk zombies no more. get Will six captures on the generator so that's pretty easy to do and the last one is spend 30,000 points now at least so far to my understanding what happens when you get it are you either get a max ammo or a free perk now it may be specific to each one but I haven't had enough time to test it more than a few times uh, but my understanding is that it is uh, you either get a max ammo or a free perk you see there that little token that you get above it that is kind of like what is the redeemable thing that you go in and give it to them um, where you go is you go to the back of the church area um, the number six generator way behind there and you can redeem it it's pretty awesome um, and like I said it is a way to get free perks in this map um, now as for the fourth one fill all four chests I am a solo player guys and this is extremely hard to do with four people okay so basically what you have to do is just go around filling these chests i believe it's it has to be at least 30 kills you need in it it just is a crazy crazy amount and when you get a kill a little orb will go into the chests now when the uh what should we call it the robot steps on it he will close it and you'll have to redo it so make sure you act fast just train try to get a big horde and just shoot them down while, while they're in the proximity of a thing Guys, it's a very difficult thing to do. I don't know the reward yet because like I said, I am a solo player, um, but we will find out soon enough. And there's just a little picture of the chests that you're gonna be looking for. They're all around the map um, in the uh, the excavation zone area. And then there is just a bad picture of uh, an orb going into the chest. All right, guys, that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you're new to the channel, maybe you'd like to drop a subscribe or drop a like, you know, whatever. Um, just a quick thing is that if I did get anything wrong, you know, I mean, this is a very new map to me. Uh, I'm just trying to get this video out as quick as I can for you guys. So, but apart from that, have a wonderful day. Uh, like I said, you know, drop a like, all that good stuff. And uh, hopefully I'll be talking to you later. Peace out.